So what kind of equipment do we use to clean up natural gases? So the equipment that we're going to need is going to depend on what we're trying to remove. So if we're trying to remove water from the gas, then we're going to want a dehydrator. So like a triethylene glycol unit or a passive dehydration system that'll dry that gas out and remove this. Now, if you want to remove CO2, then you're looking at probably an amine plant for good bulk removal. That's the traditional way. And an amine plant can also remove hydrogen sulfide as well. But if you're just trying to remove hydrogen sulfide, then there's a couple of different processes and they're usually consumable processes like an iron oxide or a liquid H2S scavenger that can neutralize this and separate it out from the system. Now for inerts, these are usually removed in downstream processes, usually a molecular sieve or some cryogenic process that can remove out the nitrogens or other inerts that are in the gas. But when we think of contaminants, we also might have hydrocarbons that may need to be removed. Now these longer chain hydrocarbons, if they're long enough, they may turn back into a liquid. So we may want to remove these from the gas so that they don't turn into a liquid and end up screwing up equipment further down the line. We remove these with things like JT units or mechanical refrigeration units, which will cold separate these out. In larger facilities, you may have a cryogenic unit that's going to get to very, very cold temperatures. They can remove all the way up to the ethane that might be in the natural gas, leaving you nice, clean methane to send to your house or to your power plant or other industrial processes that use it.